Hello, viewers. So, Peter Obi has finally spoken about what the Supreme Court did in their judgment and the way forward. According to him, he has a sense of fulfillment that at least he has changed some things that are happening in our politics in Nigeria. And he also said that he is not perturbed, that he is not disturbed about the judgment of the Supreme Court, but he wants the whole world to know that this is just the beginning, that he is just starting on this journey to make our nation Nigeria and also to make Africa work. And also, Tinibu's administration is now shaking as accusations are now coming from different quarters. Now, some of his supporters are currently attacking his chief of staff, Femi Bajabi Amila, saying that he sells appointments to the highest bidder and it just shows what is happening in this administration, that all of them are actually corrupt People. Before I give us details on this and more, please do all to like this video and also please do all to subscribe to our channel if you are yet to subscribe so you get updates whenever we post a new video. So Peter Obi actually made this statement in Oxford University and see the way this person here reported what he said before I show us part of the video of his interview. This person here said, I have a sense of fulfillment that at least I have changed this and that. With all that has happened, I do not feel perturbed. This is just the beginning. We are going to dismantle all the criminalities and will make Nigeria work. Peter will be at ACS Black History in Oxford University. So watch this video of what he said, guys. I have a sense of fulfillment. That's at least I can say I change this, I change this, I change this. And even still to this in it in that truth. But I was coming here today, somebody asked me, said, how do you feel about contesting election for the office of the president? And what has happened in everything and what has been in We're just beginning. We won't stop until we dismantle that crisis. <laughs> so that's basically how I feel. For me, we need to all come together and make Africa work, make Nigeria work, and make collectively the black world work. From what he's seen, you can just see definitely that this man had clear plans for the nation and this is the one that Nigerians went out in mass to vote for. But the Supreme Court failed Nigerians and here we are again. But we are so glad that he has said it, that he's not picked up, that he's not defeated, that he's just starting in the fight to give Nigerians a better Nigeria and Africa as a whole. Reacting to this on X, this person here said, Said, definitely it is just the beginning the criminal structure must crumble and this is it definitely we are just started we will ensure that the criminal structure that we have for years in our nation nigeria must crumble they feel that they have gotten it right this time around they feel that they have cheated nigerians but we are not going to keep quiet we will ensure that at the end of the day we are going to rebuild our nation nigeria which is one of the mandates that peter obi has for this nation Another person here also said, through Peter Obi, Nigeria shall be great again. This person here also reacted and said, full of positivity and optimism, my leader. Our president said with all that has happened, we should not give up on Nigeria. And this is what he said, with all that has happened, we as well many Nigerians should not give up on Nigerians. And this is actually a reawakening. To many Nigerians that have given up, listening to what Peter Obi said actually has given us hope again that indeed we can still fight for our nation to be better. And our person here also said, all the structures of criminalities have been revealed completely. We the people now know what to do. This is it. All the structures of criminality have been revealed because this last election and what happened in the court has revealed to Nigerians what so many people that were claiming initially that they love Nigeria and want a better nation for our country actually are. We now know who they are. 
from the leaders that betrayed Nigeria to the Supreme Court justices, we now know all of them and we will ensure that in this fight for a new Nigeria, we will get it done regardless of what they are doing. Another person here also said, last election, now warm up, we just they start, no retreat, no surrender. Nigeria must work in our time. And this is it. Indeed, our nation, Nigeria, must work in our time. We're not going to give up because of what the Supreme Court did. They have done all they can do this time around. But like Peter Obi said, we are just starting. And this is a fresh hope to well-meaning Nigerians that, that indeed there is hope in making Nigeria work again. Another person here also reacted and said, Mr. Peter Obi is special. Whatever the pressure, once he speaks, I feel reassured again. And this is it. Once he speaks, Nigerians have this hope again. Nigerians that have given up on the country, given up that anything good can ever come out, are now reassured that indeed something good can come out. They are now reassured that Peter Obi has not given up. So there's no need of us giving up because he's strongly with us. Another person here also reacted and said, we must dismantle all the criminal enterprises in Nigeria. He is not only thinking about Nigeria, but Africa as a whole. This is a visionary leader. Indeed, Peter Obi is a visionary leader. One that has not just Nigeria, but also Africa at heart. At, one that is actually committed towards the growth of our nation and our continent as a whole. This person here also reacted and said, My president, with Mr. Peter Obi, Nigeria must work. A new Nigeria is possible. Wait, so no think tank or reputable institution is inviting the president of the most populous black nation in the world for a Q&A or they are inviting him and he's not going. Meanwhile, the Onga and G8 summit, what's up with those? Baba gave speeches, right? Where the videos. So this person here is also coming out from another angle. Just like we've watched in this interview, Peter Obi went to Oxford University to actually have this particular interview and other nations too have been inviting him and we have been seeing those videos online. But it's not like that for the president. We've not seen him at attended any world meeting and the ones he claimed that he attended just like the Onga and G8 summit we've not seen videos or any clip from it and that person here also said he is here to stay he is the most influential black man today this is reassuring Obi remains a good man much too decent for Nigerian Shalaye a beacon of hope and indeed, this man is a man that brings hope to our nation that indeed Nigeria can walk again. This is the man I campaigned and voted for. No regrets. I will do it all again. Hmm. And that person here said, that is hope, Rikin dude. Mr. President, our president, God will keep you. We will get to that goal. And this is it. We just pray that at the end of the day, what we want as well many Nigerians, that we will be able to get it at the end of the day. This person here also reacted and said, keep pressing their neck. Keep speaking the inconvenient truths. Keep raising the consciousness of the people. Hopefully one day, they would understand that good, Quality, honest leadership is what will bring salvation to Nigeria, not tribal politics. And this is it. What we need at this point in time is a honest leader, one who has the people and the nation at heart and who will move our nation forward, not this tribalism that we are seeing currently in Nigeria, that people just want their own person to be in power, regardless of the fact that he is not qualified to be the president of the nation. This person here also said, the true Nigerian president, see as those simple lines from my president just gave me hope. P.O. now my president you be. I will vote you over and over again, even in heaven. This person here said, me, I don't give up on Nigeria. Never voting nor campaigning for anybody again. Yes, I wish Nigeria the best, but I need my mental health to be okay when the time is right. For the goodness of Nigeria, Nigerian politics isn't for the gentleman. 
Peter Obi is still my president, Chai. So this person has actually given up. But like Peter Obi just said, there's no need to give up. We know that we will still take back our nation very soon. Tiffany Bull should go out and represent Nigeria like this. I want to see something. It's easy to steal the village drum. But now where you go beat and be the problem. Another person here also reacted and said, Here stands a man with a clear conscience and heart. I can't say the same for another, but this man has a type of unwavering sense of self-worth and fulfillment no politician has in this country. Imagine if we have one quarter of such in our leadership roles and government, business and academics. A great and working Nigeria is indeed possible. Thank you, sir. Peter Gregory will be the best president we voted for the struggle continue as we are not going to give up on nigeria and this is it we are not going to give up on nigeria we we'll ensure that we take back our nation from the criminals that have taken over the country this person here also said this man will continue to be their greatest nightmare whenever he speaks their heart sorrows and this is it he will continue to be their greatest nightmare and the joy of everyone who wants the best for our nation because we believe that indeed at the end of the day we will take back our nation and nigeria will in turn walk again also some of terrible supporters are now calling for the sack of the chief of staff femi bajabia mila saying that he is selling appointment to the highest bidder See the way this newspaper here reported it. They said President Sinibu's loyalists accused Chief of Staff Bajabia Mila of selling appointment to highest bidders, pushed for his immediate sacking. Some loyalists of President Bola Tinibu have accused the Chief of Staff to the President Femi Bajabia Mila of selling appointment to the highest bidders, Daily Post reports. This report noted that this has caused outrage among members of the public who are calling for a thorough investigation into the matter and demanding the immediate suspension of Bajabia Mila for allegedly profiting from government appointments. Last week, the president appointed 10 resident electoral commissioners, REC of the Independent National Commission, INEC, However, sources told the newspaper that since the beginning of President Tinibu's administration, Bajabia Mila has been replacing some of the names of individuals approved by the president for appointment with his own choices. One of the examples cited is the replacement of the name of Ekiti Rek with the name of a former commissioner under the immediate past governor of Ekiti State, Kayode Fayemi. So this is what they are saying. They are saying that what Femi Bajabi Amila is doing is that he's selling appointments to anybody who can pay him more. And Nigerians are already reacting to this, wondering what they are trying to say. Because the administration is already faulty. So what are you expecting from people that it's already everywhere, that they are criminals? Someone like Femi Bajabi Amila... We saw when it was reported that he stole from one of his clients as a lawyer in the U.S. And now the same thing will happen in Nigeria because we all know that the administration is built on lie. We all know that the administration cannot function without criminals because that's what they are. They are all criminals working against Nigeria and the good of our nation. Reacting to this on X, this person here said, A house built on sand can't stand. Everything is wrong with the government. And this is it. From the president to all of his appointments, everything is wrong with them. Someone who is not meant to be the president is the president. What are you expecting? Nothing good can come out of there. Another person here also said, Corruption pro max. There is no line of criminality. This man will not cross we wait and this is it no line of criminality that they will not cross because all they have been doing have been based on their criminality nothing good nothing genuine and that person here also said hmm so now this government people they wait to turn the country around selling appointments appointments that were supposed to be based on merit okay oh. another person here also reacted and said now now morning 
when you allow corrupt fellows to run your affairs for the sake of ethno, religious, and political affiliations, be ready to reap the consequences of your decisions. This is it. We all know that from their head to the last of them, all of them are the same, a bunch of corrupt individuals. So we are not expecting anything good or anything solid from them. Another person here also reacted and said, by their fruit, you recognize them. Do you people pick grapes from the thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Matthew 7 verse 16 to 18. And that's it. That's what we are saying. It's impossible to get anything good when the foundation is not good. We all know what happened during the 2023 presidential election. We all know that the person that is currently ruling us is not the one that Nigerians voted for we all know that supreme court gave their judgment to the highest bidder and now they're talking about giving appointment to the highest bidder he's actually following what his leader is doing and what the leader has also done another person here also reacted and said is there any other thing they do there funny enough if you allow them steal from now to tomorrow they won't still get satisfied it runs in their dna these people are supposed not to be near the corridors of power unfortunately they are the best nigeria can produce they are not the best that we can produce in our nation but they have stolen the mandate from the best people that nigerians voted for they have stolen the mandate because they have the money and they bought it because they threatened they fought they did everything just to be there they are actually not the best that we can produce as a nation Another person here also reacted and said, Government, we never start. Don't already get Wahala past Buhari eight years. This is when you have crooks in government. Nigeria is in for a hell of a time. And this is it. We have crooks in government from their head to the last of them. All of them are actually criminals. So this is what we are going to be seeing at this point in time. Another person here also reacted and said, when criminals take charge party scatter ha 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 i said it that at the end they are the ones that will be crying most cryer everywhere now and this is just the beginning hmm. and our person here also reacted and said story for the girls it will be easier for the camel to pass through the eyes of the needle than for tinibu to sack bajabia mila and that's it how is he going to sack him when they are in the same boat Someone is giving appointment to the highest bidder. You bought your own presidency. How will you expect him to sack that person? He's actually following in his footsteps. And that person here also reacted and said, Una watch INEC sell mandates to a criminal. And that criminal is appointing top well-known criminal around him. And Una expect good things to happen. Una eyes go clear. And that's it. It's impossible. Like we've just been saying. It's impossible for anything good to come out from them. And that person here also reacted and said, It's always about them and appointment. All their care has absolutely nothing to do with welfare of the people. Yet they wonder why we don't like them and want them all out of office and this is it they have not spoken anything concerning what the supreme court said and we thank god they are his loyalists because nigerians are not concerned about anything they are doing all we are concerned about is that our mandate was stolen is that the supreme court failed nigerians and now they are talking about appointments when all what they are doing is just to their own favor not to the favor of poor masses out there this person here also reacted and said, when thieves are in power, what do you expect? This man is a chronic criminal. He has a case in USA and here he is a chief of staff. Hmm. Another person here said, even INEC and the Supreme Court gave the electoral victory to the highest bidder. Let the trend continue. And this is it. They gave the position of the president to the highest bidder. The person that was able to pay them more. The person that was able to threaten them more. They gave it to him. And now you are talking about appointment. When the person you are telling to sack his chief of staff also got there because he was the highest bidder. Another person here also said they are even fighting themselves. 
Emilokon is turning to Bazaar Fun Fair. Let confusion start in their own camp. This person here also reacted and said, Isn't that what this government is very good at? Buying and selling of things that shouldn't be bought and sold. And this is it. They are buying and selling things that shouldn't be bought and sold. Buying the mandate of the people when the people, all we are asking for is a better government all what Nigerians want is that our nation be moved forward. Yet, they bought and sold it. Yet, they paid because they were the highest bidder and now they are everywhere crying. All we can do at this point in time is to follow the path that Peter Obi said that we should not give up. And Nigerians, we are not going to give up. We will fight to the end until we will make our nation Nigeria a better place once again. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Please do all to share your thoughts about the video in the comment section. Please do all to like this video and please do all to subscribe to our channel if you are yet to subscribe so you get updates whenever we post a new video.